Good morning beautiful people and welcome to another new video of Noah's Art Campsite. My name is Joop and my girlfriend's name is Lisa. If you've watched previous videos, good, that's nice. I hope you enjoyed this one as well because in this video I'm going to start building the chill area. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the view now in the morning because this is astonishingly beautiful. Wow, isn't that nice guys? So, what do I have here? I have some tools. I'm going to measure out uh, where the foundation has to be. So, I'm going to put some poles in the ground, measure it all out and start digging a little hole inside where we can pour the fundament in. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. So that will definitely will be all right. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, take you with me on this journey of this chill area. I'm going to tell you a little bit how we have it in mind now. So the fundament is going to be created right here. And then here will be a barbecue. In the middle will be like a place to cook or prepare some food. And here will come the pizza oven. Then here like in this place there will be like a barbecue a barbecue place a fire pit with some wood stamps around it to chill on then here will be a rooftop with a chill area over here this olive tree i will get out of the ground and make a little um, bar over here then there will be like a place to gym uh, this side will be closed this side will be closed so you have a little bit of wind free and if we are going to make a tiny house behind it they have some privacy from each other so yeah that's the plan for now and uh, let's get started All right guys, so now that we had this delicious barbecue, it's time to get back to work. Um, what we're doing now is, you see, I took the upper layer of the grass out upstairs, you know, where I made the fundament, but it's pretty nice and uh, it holds very good. So we're going to place it in the front garden of our caravan extension. It is kind of green here actually, but we're going to place it here and uh, yeah, therefore I don't have a nice stairs to have easy access because it's behind the caravan. So I put this rope up here from this olive tree to that olive tree. I attached a line to it. I just pull it down, attach the bucket and then I can do it like this. I will show you. Now I can just Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand now. But you get the point, right? <laughs> so uh, it's a nice invention. Also to get the concrete upstairs and the stones upstairs. Uh, yeah, so I practice a little bit, maybe tighten it up along the road. And uh, let's get those grass moss from up here to the downside and then we're the finish for today. All right, guys, we are on our way to pick up the sand to make, yeah, to start building the barbecue and pizza oven. So 
Bowie is coming with me. We're chilling in the car, as you can see. He likes it a lot. So uh, yeah, it's quite a beautiful view here, actually. Okay guys, so I just came back from the company uh, where we're supposed to get some sand but thing is my trailer is quite small I could only take 750 kilos with me and I need two cubics of sand and one cubic is a mixture to make the, the fundament so that's even more heavy so they said oh we can deliver after lunch so I said all right that's even better <laughs> So I prepared this area, here will come the white sand, here I have some other sand and here will be the mixture and then we can start pouring the basement today, the fundament. Let's see how it goes. All right guys, so here the sand is. All right guys, good morning. Today is the day that I'm start pouring the fundament in the ground. Already got a little bit here and the thing I made over there with the rope and everything that's not gonna work so I'm just walking with my bucket a few times and then uh, we'll get it fixed today All right guys, as you can see, the fundament is in the ground. It was a little bit more work than I expected, but it is done now. It's uh, water leveled. So yeah, now we can let it dry for a day or two and uh, make a definite plan on how I'm going to make the barbecue and the pizza oven because I haven't drawn anything yet, but uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's good. Oh, it's so amazing. Look, I just can't get enough of this view. You hear the beautiful birds. Yeah, this place is going to be awesome. So now I'm going to clean all the tools. Then I'm going to get lunch. Then I cover it up before Bowie runs through it because he likes to do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah. And then whatever is next, you will see. Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day. And as you saw yesterday, I poured the fundament into the ground. So today it still has to dry before I can continue over there. So uh, today I had some other plans. I got the manure from the sheep and poured it on the land over there. I'm taking the composted ground and I'm going to put it in the ground over there as well. Why? Uh, because probably this weekend we will plot the land. I'm getting some potatoes in the ground and stuff. So as you knew from previous videos, the soil is not as fertile as we hoped. So we have to 
give them some extra nutrients, you know. So uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, guys. Well, you see me work here and doing all these nice things and realizing my dream life. I think it is time to have some real talk on this channel too, because I want you to realize your dream life as well. So let me start by the question. Are you living your dream life? If not, why not? It's a difficult question, right? Because you have to look into your own life, into your inner self very deeply and very critically. So what happens to most people is they give too much about what other people think and they want to keep their status high and their ego has to be fulfilled by buying all these things they don't really need. Buying a car with credit from the bank, therefore having to stay in the nine to five, which they don't really like. And yeah, because they don't really like their nine to five, they have to use their money that they earn with this nine to five to buy things they don't need, but they give them a little bit of a small piece of happiness in that moment, which fades away that fast, <laughs> right? It goes away so fast that they have to buy another new thing, which they don't really need. And it keeps them in this rat race, it's called. So I hope that you can see this and yeah, can also change it because I was looking at my Instagram today and got a memory of a year ago. And I was talking in that video and setting a predetermined goal. I was stating that I wanted to have a land in Portugal where I have my own animals and grow my own foods. And exactly one year later, I realized this predetermined goal. And that is exactly what I think success really means. Setting a predetermined goal and working progressively towards this. So, it doesn't really matter what it is, your goal, right? It doesn't matter. Is it becoming your own boss? Is it getting a new function in your current job? Is it moving to Portugal and have your own farm? Could be whatever. As long as you set the goal and realize it, then it is successful to me. So, I hope you do this as well. Why? Because is life really worth it to stay in a nine to five a dream about all these nice things without ever going after it and fulfilling these dreams tomorrow is not promised so do it today you never know what happens tomorrow so don't wait too long put some action in because that's a key ingredient together with dedication if you're not dedicated it will never happen and in this world where you have these instant gratifications everywhere it is very rare to see people having the patience to get to the goal. Because as, as soon as they get the first obstacle towards their goal, they quit, right? That's why so few people live their dream life. Because it is a natural filter of life to test you if you continue and go through these obstacles. Because all these obstacles, they teach you something about life. You can learn from it. It gives you more knowledge about life. So, so not to make it too long, I just wanted to say this and uh, yeah, one more thing where I think it went wrong is the moment people and humans started to create cities because when they created the cities, these concrete jungles where people work for money and use that money to buy food, they, they were stripped away from nature and we are part of nature, don't forget that our instincts our nature so this is where we belong this is where we feel happy and home even though most people don't even know about this yet because they never been there so they get so far away that they get sick and everything and life gets them into this slur and yeah life just happens to them so don't be like them be different and go after your dreams set a predetermined goal Decide whatever it is that you want. Think about it every day. Take action every day and it will materialize. I promise you that. So this is, this is some real talk that I wanted to say on this channel because it's not always uh, sunshine and rainbows over here, you know. We also have obstacles along the road. We didn't get here this easy, but yet I'm still here realizing it. So I hope I can inspire you as well. So. 
have a nice day because I will enjoy this beautiful weather and I hope you do that too. I will start working on that barbecue and pizza oven probably tomorrow because the concrete is still uh, not completely hard yet but you will see when I move along. All right guys, today is the day that the fundament uh, has dried out so I probably can start uh, with the masonry. Uh, I gotta tell you this, this is going to be the first time for me that I ever do it. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking about how to do it already for an hour and this is the layout. So here will come the barbecue, here will be like, like a working plate and here will come the oven. The pizza oven, right? As the old president of the United States said, he said, if I get one hour to cut down a tree, I spent the first 50 minutes to sharpen my axe. So that's what I did now, and uh, I'm ready to start. Let's get it. All right guys, so uh, it is Friday, so I stop a little bit early. I show you how far that I got in two days. It's not very far, but you have to consider it is my first time that I ever do masonry. Right, so it's not really far, but it looks pretty nice already. So uh, I decided to quit a little bit more early. Uh, so yeah. We are going to chill now on Friday. Well, I thought I was gonna quit early. It's already half past three, <laughs> so it's not really early. But, uh, you know, cleaning the bricks and, uh, you know, getting uh, the cement in between the bricks, you know, you have to cut out a little bit so you can later pour in the, the, the type of cement you put in between to make it look more beautiful. In this case, I'm going to make it uh, more dark. So you have like a dark uh, cement in between the stones. So, well, anyway, that <laughs> made it take so long. So uh, I take, I took maybe one and a half hour more to clean everything and all that stuff. So now I'm going to shower and chill. Enjoy the weekend, guys, and tomorrow is not a new day. All right, guys, while well, the building project is still going on, um, there are still some other things to do. So, Lisa is preparing the ground to plant some potatoes. Already planting some potatoes. Ah, they are already in? Yeah. So what is the plan? So the plan is to uh, plant some potatoes now. And then it's quite early, but it is possible. And then in two months I will plant again, because then I think the real season starts. But now uh, already just a little piece because we don't have a lot. But those potatoes are already rooted, so we can use them very well right now. All right. Well, good job, honey. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the greenhouse because inside the greenhouse there are still some plants from last summer. And yeah, as you can see, it's a big mess. So I'm going to plot everything here. These are some uh, plants we got from the neighbor. They are raspberries. So as you can see, they're already shooting. So let's get started and hopefully I can fix it in a few minutes. All right guys, so it was not really quick, but I fixed it, you know, and as fast as the wind. Let's have a look. <laughs> Wow, that is looking nice. This area here is plotted. I made a new pathway in the middle with these things, you know, what you see here. So uh, yeah, this is really nice. So Monday we can go to the market and buy tomatoes and all kinds of vegetables. So yeah, that's the benefit of having a greenhouse. We can start more early with planting. Well, we could have started more early, but you know, 
I only get two hands and I can only do so much. So uh, I didn't have any time to do it until today. I made some time. I stopped a little bit more early with uh, building. So uh, yeah, the building is going pretty good. And you will see in the next video how I'm going to finish because this video is already long enough. So I'm going to wrap it up. So if you like this video, like this video and also subscribe to our channel don't forget about that it helps us a lot or at least it gives more motivation to make new videos to see that you guys like it right so i'm going to wrap it up thank you for watching and don't forget to tell your friends and family about noah's art campsite ciao